everybody, welcome to the Wild Dock Way. Today's video is going to be a summer haul. Today's summer haul is from Osborne and this brings us to our summer of hauls in. So this will be the last back to school haul that I have to share with you guys. Again, as per all of these haul videos, make sure you stay tuned to the end because there is going to be a giveaway announcement and this one is exclusive to you guys right here on YouTube. All right, I am just going to jump in because like all of the rest of them, I have a ton to show you. The first thing that I grabbed was the improve your survival skills. To be honest, I couldn't believe we didn't already own it. I'm not sure how we didn't already own it, but I knew that I wanted this to finish out our survival unit study. So it actually looks really, really awesome. There is a ton of stuff packed into this little book. Um, and honestly, you guys, it was $5.99. So I'm a little like blown away with how much is in here for the price that you get. So if you are doing the survival unit study, pick this up because it is totally, totally worth it. Okay, I also grabbed Emily because she was looking over my shoulder and really wanted them. The School of Monsters series. I believe there are, yes, five books. At least that's what there were when we ordered. Um, and they are by Sally Ripkin, which is the same author of the Billy B and Hey Jack book series, which is kind of what drew her in. Gonna be honest, these are way simpler than what Emily could read. But I am a huge fan of if your kid is reading, who cares? So this is what the level looks like. So if you have a kid who is kind of, you know, looking for something a little bit beyond those super, you know, easy books, but isn't really ready for a chapter book yet, I feel like this is perfect. It's really colorful. It has big, bold words. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Um, and there's even a how to use this book for adults reading with children section in the back. And it talks about how there are some words in bold. There is also a section from the illustrator on how to draw in the back of each one for some of the different characters. So each one is a different character. So I just, I was very, very impressed. I really do wish that we had found this series or that the series was around when Emily was a little bit younger because it's just so awesome. I mean, how often do you get to read a book have you know discussions about the book and then learn how to draw the characters and like i said each book has that section so if you have a younger kiddo you probably really want this series okay some of these were just me completing our selection on things which if you guys are new here and you haven't been around very long i have a problem um, the first step is admitting it. So I have a problem. I have to complete a series of things. It's an addiction. I'm just kidding. It kind of is. But I really like having like the full collection. So even though, for instance, like the peak inside the seashore right here, Emily's a little bit older than, than this even really needs to be. But we have all of the rest of them. And at this point, I can't not have this one. And I just really love these books. And I still think even at her age, they're still fun to read. So that is one of the ones that we picked up, Peek Inside the Seashore. Along those same lines of needing to have the full collection, I also have the first question and answer, what is a virus? Which obviously, you know, couldn't have come at a better time. Um, we get to, you know, learn more about viruses. Also the first questions and answer, how can I be kind? I don't really care how old you are. I think this is a fantastic book. Learning to be more kind is amazing. And I love that it has, you know, those traditional flap that Osborne's are known for. And then the next three I have are from the Look Inside series, which Emily still very, very much enjoys. I feel like they're still really on target for her age-wise. So we have a Look Inside Math which I mean, anything that makes math more fun is awesome. And these have those uh, wonderful Osborne flaps as well. Look inside the woods. And probably my favorite new look inside is look inside the world of bees. I'm so excited to use this one in the spring because I'm sure we're going to do some sort of insect something we always do 
and this will just be such a fantastic addition to it. Okay, we also grabbed the Getting Started with Math. Now, you guys saw me show the Getting Started with Science book probably about a year ago, um, and I was blown away. I really feel like the Getting Started with Science and the Getting Started with Math, honestly, could be almost like an elementary um, curriculum. In fact, I just shared on Instagram the other day about, here, let me move so you guys can see them, um, these big fat notebooks for middle school and how much they were phenomenal and they would be a great reference point for you know middle school kids and they also carry them in the high school level i think these getting started books from usborn would be phenomenal for the same things for elementary school the reference that they make um, or the reference that they make or would make is excellent they have examples for all of the different things that they're showing you and it's pretty thorough in my opinion I really I mean I really really do think that this could be a good place for a homeschool mom to start if you really didn't want you know maybe a math curriculum and they're only $12.99 so really affordable for that um, I got this mainly because I thought Emily would enjoy reading it by herself just you know to learn more because sometimes she's really interested in different math topics I also liked that there were so many different visual aids to learning different topics and I thought it would not hurt because it never hurts to have enough extra things for math, especially with her, to have it on hand as a, another way to explain something. So if, you know, me and Kevin aren't doing a very good job or if she's not understanding that this would be, you know, kind of a great younger childish way to explain different math topics. So there is that. And then obviously this isn't the math one. This didn't come from Usborne, but we have the middle school math of this if we need to explain it in a more you know, grown up mature way. Okay, moving on. Lift the flap questions and answers about music. Again, this one completed our series, but I was really, really excited to see it. There isn't a lot of music books out there for kids. So I'm always excited when there is one to add to our collection especially when it's a fun lift the flap one like this. The never board learning series is great. We have the never, the original never board learning, the outdoors. They just came out with an art one, I think, or a craft one. This is cut, fold and stick. So it is another, um, you know, kind of crafty one. It says make boredom a thing of the past by cutting, folding and sticking your way through this book. It's just a ton, like I said, of cutting, folding, and sticking type of activities. Perfect for, you know, those moments when your kids are bored, you can just hand it to them and they have something to do. I love having things like this on hand for those moments. And Emily's really crafty, so I like to encourage that with books like that. So something I think we were all excited for is the new magic painting book. We love magic painting and this one is even more exciting because it is famous paintings. So it is, I mean, some of the most famous paintings um, and that you get like Dancers in Blue by Edward, Dag Edward Degas, The Scream. I mean, it's just all these phenomenal famous paintings, um, Vincent Van Gogh and your children get to paint them with nothing more than water. So they put water on the page and it's, I mean, it's beautiful. They just paint with it. It's simple, it's fun. And then what I love even more is that on this back, the thing that you use to keep it from going in between pages has the famous paintings and how they look as well as more information about them. So for instance, you know, it says the scream, this nightmarish painting shows a figure clutching his head in agony. His mouth is open as if to scream, but according to much, the picture was inspired by a scream he felt mysteriously coming from the world around him. Swirly lines suggest this terrifying noise. So if you are wanting to get into picture study with your kids, this is a fantastic way to do it because you could just read off of this to them and then have them paint with water. It would be a great addition to your morning basket. It would be a great, like I said, kind of gateway into a picture study. It just, it would be so awesome. Like I was so, so excited to see that as a homeschool mom. 
Okay, we also have the escape room. So can you escape the museum? I really hope they do more books like this because this looks like so much fun. We haven't done it yet, but it is, you know, you literally trying to escape a museum. So your footsteps echo inside the deserted Egyptian gallery and a shiver goes down your spine. Something doesn't feel right and you try to leave, but the doors won't budge. They're locked. You better hurry up and work to escape. And then there are all of these um, items back here in this little envelope, like these press items that you're going to use to set up your escape room. So such a fun way to have some fun at home as a family and not need anything more than that book. This one, of course I had to have it, you guys, because it is a new release that has to do with the national parks. Now, I haven't had a chance to look through here um, extensively, but I have seen some chatter on the Waldock Way community page that some parks have like four pages and some parks only have two and that it's not the most in-depth um, look at all of them. And that does appear as I'm flipping through here to be the case. However, it has a little bit of a history of the national parks. It kind of has like a little um, what to pack when you're going to the national parks. It's park ranger approved and it does include, I believe all of them. So let's see here. It's split up by area. I mean, the, the images are beautiful. I do, I do like what's in here for each of them. They are right. Some of them have more than others. Some have a little bit less, but I think it's, I still think it's a great book and it's it's really is beautiful so if you are studying the national parks I would still highly suggest this because I think it's a great book and then we have the book of the brain and how it works this just seems like a really fun book to me because it seemed a little bit more than your traditional like here's the brain and what's inside it um, and it was more kind of the science behind it and how it works and what it does. So I thought that would be really fun. We also grabbed the internet linked um, medieval world encyclopedia. We just didn't have this one and I love all of these internet linked encyclopedias from Usborne. So I wanted to add that to our collection. And when we were actually at the FPEA homeschool convention, Kevin almost picked this book up and bought it, which of course I was like, don't do that. We'll just buy it directly from Usborne. Um, but he wanted to have this in our collection, the world wars. So we have it in our collection now. A few other kind of like activity type things that I got are the never bored in a car cards. We have all of these um the never board cards the never board on a plane uh, there's multiple different versions of them they are basically just double-sided dry erase cards that have activities that you can do in a vehicle on the go on a plane whatever and they even come with the dry erase marker so all of this just fits in that box um and you have i mean a ton of cards Let's see, does it tell us how many? 50 wipe clean cards. So that means 100 different puzzles because like I said, they're front and back and they just fit in this box. So you could just put this box in your car and have all of these different puzzles, activities, mazes, um, spot the differences, and just all kinds of different things for your kids to do while you're on the go. We have every other version of this. So when I saw they released a new word search, we grabbed it. This is the travel word searches. I really like these word searches because they are almost always educational um, in some form. I mean, outside of the fact that they're just word searches, like these are done by places you would travel to and they have all of the different words that you know relate to that destination. So this would be really fun for even like traveling the world. If you were doing a traveling type of curriculum and you just wanted some sort of um, something for your kids to do like while you're reading aloud or whatever. This is all travel based word searches, like traveling the world type word searches. Um, and they're colorful and they're fun. Like 
I think anyway. Emily really loves them. She likes the quality of these books too versus like some of the cheaper word searches that you get at the dollar store that just like fall apart in your hands. So there's that. We also grabbed the space puzzle pad. You guys know I keep telling you in all of these hauls that we're going to be doing a very large astronomy unit. So this seemed like it would be really, really fun. These little pages are just little different kind of mazes and puzzles for kids. The pages rip off. If you wanted to just do one or two at the time, it would be great for in the car or morning basket to keep their little hands busy. Just something to give them when you're working with another kiddo, if you have multiple kids. And they're kind of, I mean, they're really affordable. It's like $7.99. So in good quality again. So we have that. And then we already own both of the other My Year and we have really enjoyed them. We have uh, My Year of Art and My Year of Writing. And this is My Year of Nature. Um, capture your creativity every single day this year with super fun drawing and writing journal. It's a really great way to get your kids drawing and writing every day. Um, journaling without it being like, it's kind of guided so it makes it a little bit easier for them to journal so you have things like you know look outside your window and draw what you see describe a stormy night think about the sounds the sights and the colors imagine you're standing at the bottom of a waterfall and describe the sounds you hear so if you have a kid who really likes nature and you want them to get into journaling this is a great way to do that if you could live as an insect for a day which insect would you choose and draw it here just really fun drawing and writing activities, you know, based on nature. All right, you guys, we are getting down to the end. Okay. The dinosaur mazes. This one is big. Emily loves dinosaurs. She saw this and had to have it. Great quality again. And then we actually got this to take on a beach trip with us and it is under the sea mazes. We are going to the beach for Emily's birthday and this just looked like something fun in case we get rained out a day or two I want to have just a few activities that we could do inside and this looked like it would fit the bill so we have that and then this I'm really excited about I have the beginning or in the intermediate and now I have the advanced sorry they're stuck in here you guys so it is the wipe clean set um they call them key skill sets from Osborne and they come in this really nice plastic, it's not really plastic, it's like a poly envelope that has a zipper top. So the Advanced has four books in it. They all have four books. Two are always some sort of English type of book and then two are always math. So this set for the Advanced is fractions and then all of the white clean pages inside have to do with fractions. And there is also always an answer key, notes for the adults to kind of help teach it, and then a grid, like graph paper for the kids to do, you know, their work on, like if they needed to do, like scratch paper. Um, Telling Time is the second book. And then for English, we have Grammar and Punctuation and spelling and I just like to have these kind of on hand for I don't know busy activities things when I need a second uh, reinforcement things that she needs to practice over and over and over because they're dry clean or wipe clean dry erase you can just do them and erase them and do them again again and again and again so I like that because it doesn't feel wasteful um, not having to print a ton of stuff out so I, I like them they're great for car schooling too we also grabbed two new puzzles, the um, Jigsaw a Tree of Life here, and all of the Usborne puzzles also come with a book of some kind. Let me see if I can get this one open to show you what book it comes with, which is something that I love about it. Actually, I almost always give these puzzle sets as gifts because they make such nice gifts because you get a really high quality puzzle in a nice book. Okay, so this is the Tree of Life book um, and it has all of this information in this book. And so this is what you get with the puzzle. With that puzzle. And then we also have 
the new dinosaur timeline puzzle. And I believe the book that this one comes with is the dinosaur timeline book, the fold out dinosaur timeline. We have that already and we love it. Um, so I'm excited that it also still comes with it because let me open it see if I'm right. Yes. What I love is that in the puzzles you get the same information, but the books that come with them are a little bit, I guess, less expensive to make. So when you buy the dinosaur timeline, normally it has like the hard cover, but when you get it in the puzzle, it's just the, the interior, which actually is easier to store in my opinion. They just didn't have this set out when we first bought the timeline, but I think that's easier to store than the hardback. But we, we will love them both equally. Okay, so that is all of that. The only thing I have left to show you guys is my Usborne Splurge. And it was the Illustrated Originals. And I bought all of them. I really, really wanted these classic books for Emily. I think this is like the next year or two would be the perfect time to read them. And these make it more fun because they're beautiful. They're small. They're easy to hold. Um... They still have, you know, those color images that make it exciting for her. So I went ahead and got them all for her. So we have Little Women, Around the World in 80 Days, White Fang, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, The Jungle Book, Black Beauty, The Wizard of Oz. You guys, seriously, look at how pretty that is. Treasure Island. This is the one Kevin's the most excited about. Illustrated Odyssey, Heidi. the railway children and then the one that started it all Anne of green gables so emily actually picked up the um, classic starts Anne of green gables to read to herself and she was like mom i just don't like this like she could tell that it was kind of watered down um, and she wanted to read something a little more mature but then when you go to the more mature ones they are not as fun to read and so that's when we were talking back and forth she's like I just wish there was a picture every now and then like it doesn't have to be time just every now and then and that's when I remembered that Usborne had the illustrated ones and so she could get that color picture that she wanted every now and then within you know still the unabridged version of the book so she's very very excited and i think that's the one she's gonna start reading so that's it that is our usborne haul for back to school and now for the giveaway two people who have a u.s mailing address because unfortunately usborne will only mail within the u.s or at least this portion of usborne will only mail within the u.s will be entered for the chance to win a 50 dollars credit so you can buy some usborne books to add to your homeschool all you have to do for a chance to win is be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment down below.